Hi, my name is Alessandra Baez. I am doing the intramuscular injections video today. I still do not have a badge. My apologies. Um, I've emailed a lot about it and I still don't have one. Um, so we're going to start by gathering all the materials we needed for this. So we're going to, um, right here we have a 10 mil syringe. That's what we got in the kit. So that's what I'm going to use since we are going to be giving more than one ml of medication. Um, I've got a 25 gauge one inch needle for a intramuscular injections because that's what we use for that. We've got our alcohol swabs, um, our gauze, and then our injection pad and our uh, morphine. So we are going to verify our six rights of medication administration, which are going to be time, right time, right dose, right route, right patient, right medication, and right documentation. Um, we are going to calculate our dosages. So it says that this um, particular vial is four milligrams per milliliter of morphine, and we the order in the MAR is for six milligrams. So we're going to calculate that, and it's going to be 1.5 milliliters of medication for six grams or six milligrams of morphine. My apologies. Um, we are then going to introduce myself to the patient. Hi, my name is Allie. I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, we're going to provide privacy by closing the curtain and shutting the door and allowing family to stay if that's what the patient wishes. Um, we are going to verify the patient with two identifiers such as name and date of birth and their wristband. Um, everything looks good on our patient. Um, we are going to ask them if they have any allergies to medications or um, food or anything like that. Um, they say no, so that is good. Um, we are going to let them know that they are due for their morphine and that's why we are here and that they are going to be getting um, six milligrams of morphine. Um, we are going to let them know that morphine is a pain medication and that they should um, notify us if they are feeling um, dizzy, lightheaded, um, or nauseous, um, tachycardic, anything like that, or even having a hard time breathing. Um, those may be side effects of the pain medication um, or signs of an allergic reaction. Um, they, we will let them know that it will be a intramuscular injection and then it might sting a little bit when we inject the medication into, um, their deltoid muscle. Um, we are going to let them ask any questions after we are done, um, informing them of what the medication is. Um, they don't have any questions, so that is good. I'm then going to, um, perform hand hygiene at, by washing or sanitizing my hands. I'm going to grab some clean gloves and I'm going to draw up my medication. I'm using aseptic technique, so I'm going to make sure that um, I try to avoid touching the barrel here and I do not touch the end and that I do not contaminate the needle or the um, end of the plunger. So I've opened the top of that. It's a little better. So we've got the top of this open, and we're going. We can pull this kind of out right there, and then we're going to open the top of this. And we're going to hold that without touching, and then we're going to connect our plunger to the needle by inserting it into there and twisting it so it's tight. Um, we can then just leave it in there if we like. Um, we are then going to, um, since we need one and a half milliliters, we are then going to take their alcohol swab, one of them, and we're going to clean the top of our vial. And then we are going to, um, since we need one and a half milliliters, we're going to, with the cap still on this, we are going to um, 
fill this syringe with one and a half um, one and a half um, milliliters of air. So we've got that air in there. And then we are going to uh, check our MAR again for to make sure that it is six milligrams that we need, which is what the order is for. And then we are going to um, we're going to um, take our cap off, and then we're going to insert it into our morphine vial, and we're going to rotate it like that. And then we are going to inject our air, and then it should draw up that one and a half milliliters for us. We're then all right, we then got our one and a half milliliters. And we are going to um, kind of flick it to remove some air bubbles that may be in there and check that we still have one and a half milliliters, which is the six milligrams of morphine. We are going to um, select the appropriate site. So we've got our injection pad here. Um, and we, um, are going to note that this injection pad would be their um it would be their deltoid muscle so we can which is right here is normally where we do our intramuscular injections we can also do them in the ventral gluteal site um which is what we normally would do them in um the muscle seems okay there's no bruising or skin irritation um we're gonna palpate to make sure that the muscle is okay to use and make sure it's not contracted or anything like that. So our muscle feels great. Um, we are then going to locate the site. If it's on the deltoid, we're gonna go two fingers down or three fingers down from the acromion process. Um, so we're gonna pretend here on our little pad. We're then going to clean our site with a alcohol swab and we're going to do it in a circle about two inches wide and then we're going to let that air dry and not touch the site once it has been cleaned. Um, we're then going to take our syringe and we are going to kind of hold it like a dart um, and then we are going to um, pull the skin with our non-dominant hand using the Z-Track method, kind of um, pull it to the side if um, on the deltoid area. And um, we're going to um, do this. So here's our injection pad. We're then going to um, do our pull our hand to the side. And then we are going to go in at a 90 degree angle into the muscle and um, inject that medication. And then um, we are then going to We're then going to wait 10 seconds and then withdraw the needle and release the skin and place our gauze pad gently over. Um, we are then going to apply gentle pressure and not massage the site. Um, we're not going to recap the needle. We are going to discard of it in a sharps container. Um, I'm then going to um, place a band-aid on the patient if they wish. I'm going to remove my gloves. I'm then going to perform hand hygiene 
and document that we have given the medication.